hello everyone y'all welcome back to my channel and in today's tutorial i'll be learning how to make a v-shaped multipleted to band cap which has this side pleated and ruffles design on it please if you're just coming to this channel for the first time thank you for clicking in i want to appeal that you subscribe to our youtube channel and also click on the bell icon thank you so much now the materials we are going to be using for this tutorial include the shiny poly fabric i got two yards and i had ss fabric left also be needing your padded and wadding be needing crinoline the big size and then your scissors your measuring tape your matching color of thread and needle this design which you are working on is divided into the tuban cap, the side pleated frame, and then the ruffles design on the other side. Now, for my tuban cap, I have the multipleted V shaped band, I have the tuban base, which I'm going to be lining. I'm working with shiny poly fabric, one yard will be enough for this tutorial. And then I like lining my base when I'm working with shiny poly fabric. Now coming over to the side pleated frame, I'm going to be padding it and for padding it, I'm going to be using wadding to pad it. And then you can try to allow it to have a handle at the back for tying or it should come without a handle. That's optional and depends on you. And then coming over to the ruffles design, I have my um, fabric and then I will also be inserting my crinoline inside it to make it hard and then tack all down to the cap so that is how or that is what makes this design we are working on so for the tutorial i will first proceed with the tuban cap after working on the tuban cap i will then come ahead to work on the tuban design but i will first take out the measurements that are required now for the tuban cap there is the band and there is the base the fabric for my band i'll be needing two different pieces of fabric which i have here and i'll be working with 14 inches for the length and 14 inches for the width so what i'll be working with is 14 inches by 14 inches for the band the multiplied v-shaped band now the fabric for the base since i'm going to be lining it it requires two different pieces of fabric now the measurement for my fabric is 23 inches for the length which is the head circumference and 14 inches for the width so I'm working with 23 by 14 inches. Always ensure that your head circumference, which is the length, is cut across the most stretchy part of your fabric. So that is it for the tuban base. And then coming over to the design for the for the pleated frame, the side pleated frame, we'll be needing six pieces of fabric. Now the number of fabrics that you are working with for the pleated frame depends on how high. You want the pleated frame to be so i have six pieces of fabric here and the measurement is 18 inches for the length by three inches for the width 18 inches by three inches so i will go ahead to set this aside then for the ruffles design which you are working on it's a very long stripe of fabric i'll be working with 90 inches by 6.5 inches 90 inches by 6.5 inches and then in addition to that we'll be needing the crinoline and i'll be working with this big size of crinoline the length is also the same thing so i'll cut out the same length that is 90 inches by the width of this crinoline now in addition to all that has been listed out we'll also be needing the wording or the padded and this is the very thick one of which I also have six pieces here. This is for the side pleated frame. And the measurement I'm using is 2.6 inches for the width by 18 inches for the length. This is because while padding it, we are going to double it. So I'm going to be folding it into two and inserting inside my fabric. So 2.6 or 2.5 inches for the width by 18 inches for the length. The same number with the pieces of fabric you want to use for the frame. So that is all that. Now, starting the tuban cap, illustrating with one piece of fabric. And whatever I'm doing for this piece of fabric should also be done for the second piece of fabric. 
Now, this is the first piece of fabric. And then we're going to be pleating it. It's just normal way we'll be making our pleated base. They will make our autogilly base. I'll start by folding in my fabric. Now, you can decide to fold it in twice so that you cover this rough edge here. So, I'll fold it in twice. And then, I'll sew from one end to the other. After doing that, I'll go ahead to pleat my fabric again. And then, sew from one end to the other. Then, I'll make another pleat again, depending on the allowance that is left. And then, sew from one end to the other. So, that's what I'm going to do. And it's what I'm doing, whatever I'm doing on this piece of fabric, which is one part of the band, I also have to repeat for the second part of the band because both pieces of fabric will give me the V-shaped band. So I'm going to sew. And after sewing, I'll get back for us to continue. So I've made my pleated um, band and this is it. So I'm going to place one on each other this way. And then get my pins to help me hold it in place. So I'm going to keep this aside. Then I'm getting the fabric for the base, which is what I have here. I'm going to fold each fabric into two and then get the midpoint, then make a notch at the midpoint with my scissors. Now that that has been done, I'm getting the first piece of fabric for the base, place it on my working surface with the fine side facing me, and I have it this way. I'm going to get my band. This is how my band is. Now I'm going to place the fine side of my band on the fine side of my fabric. So I'm placing it down this way. And then I'll get the last piece of fabric for the base. And then I'm going to place it on my fabric. Fine side facing fine side. So the fine side of this last piece of fabric is facing the fine side of this first piece of fabric. Now, while placing your fabric, ensure that the middle of the fabric which you notched aligns with the middle of your band. So this is it. And then I'm going to place this on my sewing machine and I'm going to be sewing. So I'll start stitching from the band down to this end and then I'll stitch round. So I'm going to stitch round the four edges of my fabric. But along one edge, I have to leave a little bit of allowance, which I will use to turn my fabric inside out. So this is my work. I'm done sewing it, and I have my allowance here. I'll go ahead to turn my fabric, and as soon as I'm done, I'll get back for us to continue. After turning my fabric inside out, this is it. This is the wrong side, and then I have the fine side here. To continue, I'm going to fold my fabric into two equal halves with the fine side inside and the wrong side outside then i'm going to place this on my sewing machine and i'm stitching starting from the band i'll stitch it down to this end and extend the sewing stitch to this end so as to close it up and form the cap so i'm going to go back to sew that and after that i'll get back so i'm done sewing next what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to make a running stitch in order to form the gathers at the end of the cap so I have my cap here and my running stitch is going to start immediately after the band and it will end here. So I'll just put my needle and thread in and keep passing it in and out until I get to the end. So straight. Right here, I have my band cap already sewn, as you can see. So I'm going to go ahead to set this aside while work on the design that will be attached to Now, it. coming over to the pleated frame, get out as many pieces of fabric as you would have cut out. Now, this is the first piece of fabric. So I'll go ahead to fold it into two with the fine side inside and the wrong side outside. I'll place this on my sewing machine. I'll sew down from one end of the fabric to the other end. After sewing for all pieces of fabric, I'll go ahead to turn it inside out and also go ahead to insert my wadding inside the fabric. Right here, I have my fabrics already sewn. This is it. And then I've gone ahead to turn the other piece of fabric inside out. And then this is how it looks like. 
so i will get my padded on my watch remember i'm using the very thick one and i cut out about 2.5 or 2.6 inches for the width by the length of the fabric which is 18 inches so this is what i would have fold it into two equal halves this way then i will get my scissors i'm going to pass this inside my fabric okay So this is it and I will pull it up all the way to the other end and ensure the same part is at the middle and then I will go ahead to adjust my fabric and set it in place properly. So you see my fabric, it has the same part at the middle and then you make unnecessary adjustment. So I've gone ahead to repeat that for the other piece of fabric that I have. And I have them all here. So depending on the number you want, that is how high or how low you want your pleats to be. You go ahead to work on that for your fabric. Now that all that has been done, the next we are going to be doing is that we are going to couple our fabric together. That is the pleated thread. So I have this. I'm going to get it one after the other, and then adjust it, place it one on each other, as you see me doing this way. So this is it. This is how the arrangement is going to be. Now I will get my needle and thread and then I'm going to pass my needle through these points up to the top. So as soon as my thread is out, I'm going to take it back inside again. Then I will secure my thread and cut off the excess thread. So this is it. I'm done with this end. Then I will go back again and repeat the same thing I've done for this part, for the middle part and the end so that I can join it together properly. I'm going to go off camera to do this and as soon as I'm done, I'll get back for us to continue. So this is it. I have my pleated frame already sewn down. This is what I get. And then I'm going to get my band cap. Place it on my dummy head to get the fitting for it. Then get my pleated frame and then position it down. I can now get my pins to help me hold it in place. Then I'll get my needle and thread to tack it down together. So we'll be joining the pleated frame and the band so and the tuban cap together it requires stacking it's no different from joining all the different um, fabric of the pleated frame together it's the same thing so i'm going to position it this way then i'll start passing my needle and thread from the wrong side of the cap to the top of the frame And then I'll take it back again. So it's now out. And then I'll take it back again inside the cap. From the pleated frame down to the wrong side of the cap. Just the way I started. So this is it. My needle and thread is out. I'll take it inside the pleated frame again, about two pleats. Mm -hmm. 
then i will extend it to the next point where i want to stack down then bring it out from the wrong side and then take it all the way to the top and come down so that's how i'll keep going till i've gone around the cap so just follow the procedure that we use in tacking down this first point to be able to tack this down to the cap so i'm going to go off camera to complete this and i'll get back as soon as i'm done. right i have my cap and i've almost gotten to the end i've trimmed off the ss fabric that is the ss body that i have so i'm just going to gather everything and then wrap it down this way okay so i'm folding in the edge and then i'm taking it down and i'm going to tie this to this edge this way at this junction i'm done stitching down my design that's my pleated frame to the edge so this is it and then we'll go ahead to work on the ruffles design that will be attached on this other side for the ruffles design which is going to be on one side this is my fabric i will get it with the fine side facing and the wrong side and sorry i have it the fine side facing so i'll fold it into two and then when i fold into two the fine side goes inwards and i have the wrong side facing so fold your fabric into two fine side inside the wrong side outside so that from one end of the fabric down to the very end of the fabric and after that i'll get back at this point i have my fabric for the ruffles design already sewn and i've turned it inside out and as you can see it's a very long piece of fabric now i'll go ahead to get my crinoline and i have my crinoline here now this is the big size of crinoline and it is six inches six between six or seven inches wide so what i'll do now is i'm going to um I'm going to open it and then fold it into to this way get my fabric for the ruffles and start passing my crinoline fabric inside okay so i'm just going to pass this inside until i get to the end of the fabric thereafter i'll get back for us to continue at this point i have my fabric here with my crinoline inserted in it okay so i've passed it all the way to the top now watch remember that the crinoline is folded into two okay so this is my fabric with my crinoline in it all the way down to the end so what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be creating the ruffles by making running stitches so we'll make running stitches at the edge and that will give us the ruffles design, my ruffles design i'm going to start with my rolling stitch so i will start from this very edge this way and then at the edge of the fabric we're passing my needle and thread treat so as you make your running stitch you arrange your fabric so this is it and that's what i'll keep doing until i get to the end of the fabric so it's not a difficult project So I'm going to go off camera to complete this. And as soon as I'm done, I'll get back for us to continue. At the end of the day, I have my ruffles fabric this way. I've made my ruffles, my running stitch from one end of the fabric down to the other end. So this is it. I also have my demand cap with my pleated frame this way. Then I'm going to go ahead to place this ruffles design on the other side. To do that, I will get my design starting from one end I'm going to place it on that is at the edge of this pleated frame so I can hide this white padded or word in there then I'll get my needle and thread and start tacking it down from the top I will arrange the ruffles I will tack it down arrange it until I get to this edge so right here, I have my band cap, I have my ruffles on this other side. I had to use my pins to hold it in place so that tacking it down would be easier for me. I pass out my needle and thread from the wrong side of the cap to the top of the ruffles. And then I'll take it inside again. Okay. 
okay and then i'll start passing it in and out in that order so i'll take it now upwards it's now out from the fine side of the cup i'll make my big stitches hidden inside the ruffles fabric too that's what i'm doing i'll pass it in down to the next point where i want to tack down And then I'll get it back into the cap. And then take it upwards to the top of the ruffles design. So this is it in that order. And that is how I will tack down this until I get to the end. And I'll get back to show us the finished look. And after tacking down my ruffles design, this is how it looks like. And this brings us to the end of this tutorial if you got value from today's tutorial please do well to leave a comment in the comment section also like and share to many others thank you so much for watching until our next tutorial bye bye